What's going on traders? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my live trading session of the S&P 500 and mini futures. We're looking at the 2000 tick chart and we're going to be only using price action. There are no indicators that we're going to be relying on. There's only one indicator, but it is a supportive indicator. We just use it as a tool. This is the 21 bar EMA right here. If prices are trading below, we're in a downtrend. If prices are trading above, we should be in an uptrend. Now, I already have this bigger pattern in play and this is a nice two-tier channel working lower. And why am I looking for this channel right here? Well, because institutions, they just don't trade randomly. The big players, the hedge funds, they have a specific reason why they place in trades as any other trader. They have a specific reason. So there is always order and, you know, there's a, always a pattern in the market, whether it's the trading range, trend channel or something like this. So this is why I found this channel as I want to have a high probability setups to spot them better and have a start of the channel right here confirmation right here this is the third bounce off the channel and it nicely confirmed the channel right here we have a break of this channel right here but a lot of times when you have a break in the overnight session a lot of times it doesn't count because the regular traders are not trading yet so i think this is what's happening right here if i make the channel a little bit wider i only have two touches and it doesn't really fit off the lows that much so this is why i ended up using this downtrend and now this downtrend is really really strong this is not the steep move down like this this is a very healthy 45 degree channel working lower and it's a two-tier channel so this is a lot of pullbacks it is a wide pattern so this is a good healthy trend so i'm only going to be thinking for reasons to sell i'm not going to be thinking to reverse this market at all at all even though as tempting as it going to probably look that's the way it designed i'm only going to be thinking to show this market and i'm going to be looking for high probability setups and those are second entries at the key entry point and in practice, it looks something like this. This is the first leg, pullback, second leg right here. So this is a two-legged move at the key entry point, and we have a shortened trend line working higher. We have a break and a new high according to trend line rules. And we have a similar pattern right here. We have a shortened trend lines working higher. We have a break, new high. We have a first bullish leg, two bearish bars, and a second bullish leg working higher. So first entry short, second entry short, first entry short, pullback, second entry short, both at the key entry point right here at the ema and here at the trend line at the ema so this was a gorgeous trade but i wasn't really trading at this time yet i missed this but this was a nice second entry short high probability setup at the ema and before i start trading i just want to mention guys and show you guys look at the right side of the screen right here there is a value 42.90 and 42.95 which means the incremental difference is five points and this is already a good indication for me that the market is really volatile. I already see a lot of bars on the chart as it is. So this is a really volatile market. But normally the difference here is only two points. So I already know that this is a lot of vo really volatile market. And I don't, know, I don't need to use any order flow, any volume indicator, none of that stuff. I just look at a chart based on how many bars I see. And I take a look at the right axis right here. And I see 42.85, 42.90. So this is a five point move. So I'm going to be scalping for 10 ticks today. And leaving my you know stop loss one tick above the signal bar all right guys so the market has opened like a three minutes ago and we had just have a break of this two-tier channel working lower we are making to make a new low right here prices are right now going in consolidation and there was a second entry show right here at the EMA but take a look we we are inside of this shorten trend line working higher which we need to respect we have a break attempt to make a new high and a lower high setup at the EMA this would be a good entry to go short, but we didn't get a trigger. We didn't trigger one tick below the signal bar, so the entry didn't really trigger. So you have to let this go and watch it. And you have a break, new high, and you have a good short attempt right here after a two-legged move up. But it's not at the key entry point. You wouldn't really have the resistance line yet. So you just have to sit on your hands and let this watch it to go without you pretty much. All right, guys, and I'm trying to enter a trade. Hopefully, I won't miss this trade. Depends how we get filled here. What I'm looking at is I moved the support line a little bit lower and we have a first entry short pullback, second entry short at the EMA and we have a break and a new high of this uptrend plus we have a two-legged move up working higher. It was a quick trade. Perfect. Let me just manage it a little bit. Let me move this target a little bit bigger. The reason why I really like this, we already have a break and a new low. Yes, but this is a strong downtrend. And I have a feeling this is one of those days where you're just going to 
be trending lower and, and we got stopped out here. So it was quick the other way around, but I'm gonna show you why I like this trade. On a five minute chart, we bounce, we have a strong bearish bar off the EMA and off the key entry point, off the trend line. So this is why I really like taking this trade. So there's a first entry short, second entry short, break and a new high. It was a really quick trade, it happened very quickly. We didn't get the runner, unfortunately. Uh, it is at the EMA. We already have a break in a new low, but this is such a strong downtrend. Uh, but looking back, I probably may have, because on a five minute chart, we are starting to reverse strongly. So this, I might have jumped the gun a little bit, but I still like the trade. Break in a new high, second entry short. Signal bar is fairly decent. The stim on this bar, we trade up lower at the very end of the bar. Uh, nevertheless, it happened very quickly, but I only go for three contracts because the market is really volatile and the bars, the stop loss are gigantic right now. This was a decent stop loss, that, but if you enter on a slightly bigger bar, the stop loss is going to be much larger. So I scale down to just three contracts. Two contracts as a main, main portion scalp and one contract as a runner in case something unexpected happens. And guys, it is Monday, July 19th, 8.50 Central Standard Time. And we already had a great setup right here. We had a new high right here, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, below EMA failure, and it instantly reversed. This would be called a trap. Failed second entry long, in and downtrend. But this signal bar is way too big, and you're going low directly into this support. But here is an important piece of information what's happening here. We have a failed breakout right here to the downside, and even though most breakouts of trading ranges will fail, you don't want to be buying this day like this. This is a strong downtrend. So even though it is a tempting failed breakout and you want to fade the breakout, you know, the price action worked, you don't want to really do this. But what's more important, we couldn't even make it to the upper trading range to this resistance. We, you know, turn down lower, first entry long and instantly turn down lower, second entry long failure. So this is a strong downtrend. And by the way, guys, looking back hindsight, I probably got a little bit lucky here that we didn't bounce on me sooner because I was going short directly uh, at the bottom of this trading range. And I think I got a little bit lucky here. Uh, hindsight, it doesn't look that great, even though we have a two-legged move. We already have a break and a new low. Now we have a break and a new low. And, and notice the repeat pattern right here. We have a new high right here, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. But you're going short directly into this support. First entry long, second entry long, going short directly into this support. But the market is very strong, strong downtrend. So I'm still going to be thinking only to sell this market, uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the on a five minute chart, the trend line and the EMA is holding. Take a look, we didn't break higher above this bar. So, you know, this is what I was looking at my initial entry because I like the pattern on a five minute chart and we're breaking lower and we're continuing moving lower and lower. All right, guys, and I see a setup right here, lower high. Let me get my limit order in place. Hopefully we get filled here. When I'm looking at, we have a new low right here. We have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short, the target profit. I'm going to move my target profit, uh, excuse me, I'm going to move my stop loss one tick above the signal bar. I'm going to go for 10 ticks and leave one contract as a runner. We have this uptrend working higher. We have a break, attempt to make a new high, but EMA is in the way and we have a nice bearish reversal bar on a second entry short. We don't have a new high yet, but on a, such a strong day like this, we might not have to. And look, we're already halfway up. Come on. And we got filled. The market is moving fast today. The market is moving fast today. I'm going to hold the runner. Uh, keep putting it lower. I'm going to be trailing. We might get stopped out here. Oh, no, we may actually survive. So I'm going to be trailing my stop loss above each swing as we are going to continue working lower and lower. And notice how good of a strong trend. This is clearly a 45 degree angle. So even though we have a break in a new low, we keep making new lows and new lows. Yes, I'm aware of this, but this is one of those exceptions when you have a strong downtrend like this or strong uptrend, 45 degree angle, wide two tier pattern. You're just gonna be making new lows for the majority of the day probably. So you just have to sell any pullback you probably can. So this is why, even though we have a new low right here, even though we have a new low right here, I was still looking for second entry short. And here there was a nice two entries, but you're going short directly into this support. So I don't think I had a little bit roomy right here, 
but now you don't really have a room plus the signal bars are much bigger come on keep working once again second entry short at the ema we trade up higher ticked one tick higher and at the very end of the bar we traded up lower five minute chart looking very bearish very bearish come on all right guys so we just broke one tick below this bar so what i'm going to do i'm going to tighten my runner one tick above this signal bar this is the second swing right now and this is how i'm normally playing the runner as we continue working lower or working higher i'm always placing it one tick above or below the new swing that we made because i want to lock this position that i already have because what can happen we can go lower and then we can instantly reverse and i wouldn't you know lock any profits and i don't want to do that as soon as i see money in my account i'm very tempted to already lock in the profits so this is one way you can treat the runners and this is how i am doing this come on we're working lower this is great we're starting to get far away from the ema on a five minute chart but the downtrend is so strong i really like this i think we can catch a good runner here all right so i'm resuming the video and it looks like our runner will get stopped out here yeah we are getting a little bit further away from the EMA on a five minute chart, so no surprise. But this is looking like a very healthy downtrend. So I was expecting to catch a good runner. It didn't happen, but hey, the runner is just a bonus. It is what it is. We made like a $200 only on the, on the runner, but still, we actually got stopped out right here. So yeah, this was just a tiny runner, but still, you want to hold those runners in case you catch a major high. Because if there was a nice setup somewhere around here, look how nice of a runner you would have caught. But it is what it is. All right, guys, I'm resuming the video because we have a reversal pattern forming right here. We have a new low right here. First entry short, pullback. Second entry short, failure. We are above the EMA. We are inside of this small little uptrend. And this is a nice bullish bar. I'm not going to be taking this reversal pattern. Why? Because this is a strong, this is a massive, massive downtrend. And we're just not most likely going to reverse on a dime like that. So even though this is technically a reversal pattern, the context, overall context is so strong to the downside that we're only going to be looking for reasons to sell. So even though, see, and we are working higher. So even though it may work right now, I still don't think this is a smart trade to take because trying to reverse and pick a bottom on a day like this, you know, that's a losing strategy. So I'm just going to sit on my hands and wait patiently. All right, guys, we may have a potential lower high set up forming right here we have this trend line working high we have a break attempt to make a new high but we are now reversing below the ema we have this trap right here lower high setup so i'm going to prepare my limit order if we close one tick below this bar come on this is a very bearish bar this is what i want to see i'm selling so i want to see a nice bearish bar right here all right we close lower let me put i don't want to miss this trade i don't want to chase this trade either so i'm going to keep it at or should I just, and we got filled perfect so i'm going to move my stop loss one tick above the signal bar and i'm going to move my target profit once again 10 ticks two contracts my main portion and one contract in case anything happened and look we're already in the middle um, so we have a first entry short second entry short. Re reverse the pattern barely worked i think but you know that doesn't matter and we have a strong rejection of the reverse pattern we pushed below ema and we have a trap trying to trade trap all the traders that go higher and a nice bearish signal bar Come on, keep working lower. Did we get trapped here? First entry short, second entry short, uh, first entry long, second entry long, failure, there will be great trap right here. Come on, and it, it, it all depends how this bar will finish. This would be enough for us. Come on. I think we can get this scalp. This is a strong downtrend. You want to sell every, any opportunity you can. We are struggling to close below this bar. We probably got trapped here. 
Yeah, you probably got trapped. And this is going to be a big loss too. So yeah, we got trapped here. Uh, looking back, I still think this was a decent trade. It is just the first entry long, but had we closed below this bar, this would be failed second entry long, and we probably would have uh, traded lower. Uh, but I still like taking this trade. Look at how strong of a downtrend this is. I still like taking this trade. Be a strong push build. You have a nice bullish doji bar. A few ticks higher and instantly reverse down lower. But you know what? Order submitted. Order failed. I'm gonna end it right here. Because now this is a new high. First entry long pullback, second entry long, strong bearish bar off the EMA, and this is probably what I was supposed to wait for. Hopefully I'm not too in my emotions here. Because I just took a loser and whoa, this was a big spike, quick spike. We take higher and we're trading lower. Come on, we are halfway up. Halfway on our target profit. Come on. I'm going for 10 takes, only 10 takes. Market is really volatile. You cannot go for one point scout. This is ridiculous. Look how big of a. This is a three. And we got filled. Perfect. So it was a little bit nerve wracking, to be honest with you. Uh. But you have to trust the process and stick to the rules. This is the new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure, big bearish bar below EMA. I jumped the gun here. I jumped the gun here. Uh, this was the first entry, but I still think hindsight, I still like this trade because you really have to sell any pullback you get on a day like this. You can't be too picky. You can, but if you really want to make money on a day like this, if you sell almost any pullback, you will be profitable at the EMA. So just took a big hit right here because this was a big losing trade, but we recovered. I'm going to put my stop loss at break even and hopefully we can catch a good run at this time. We're getting far away on a five minute chart from EMA, but it's decent. It's decent. It's not, it's not nothing to, uh, too scary come on big bar I'm, I'm just gonna tighten this a little bit just to pay for my commissions at least man this trade right here i still like it i still like it oh but i, I want to show you guys not only we are looking for a second entry short at the key entry point we are looking for second entry longs failure first entry long second entry long below ema failure first entry long second entry long below ema failure first entry long second entry long below ema failure this these are the these are high probability setups you either take with trend second entries or you are looking for traps failed second entry longs counter trend of course because the big trend is down and even though we have a break in a new low when the daily is strong downtrend like this you're just going to be making new lows and new lows so you can't really pay attention to this too much Hopefully we can get you a good runner. Come on. This would be a new swing. This would be good. I'm just gonna, if we break lower. All right, and we're breaking lower. So I'm tightening my stop loss one tick above this swing. And come on, wow. We're moving pretty fast. Oh, this could be a good run. We are already 425. Uh, the volatility still remains strong. Five point increments on the right axis. This is really good. Really good. Come on. Oh, we're getting really far away from EMA on a five minute chart. We have a little bit more room, but not too much. This runner may get stopped out two by look by looks of it mm. 
I'm gonna tighten this, perfect, new swing. 525, come on, this would be a great runner. Come on. To be honest with you, it is much better enter on these highs of a trading range like this, but there was really no entry right here because from this point on, you have a failed break lower, you are working higher and you're expecting at least some uh, potential of a reversal. So you just don't want to pick top like this. After that, just market just crashed and we're selling strongly. All right, guys. And I just wanted to say the runner is $600. And just as I mentioned this, we had a quick spike and we are back to $500. So yeah, I'm just going to pause it again. All right, so we are two ticks away, one tick away from getting stopped out. So unfortunately, the runner is not probably going to be big, something around $300. Not bad, uh, but you really want to catch a runner Stop on a day like this. And we got stopped out. That's unfortunate because when you when the volatility is this good, you can really catch a massive runner, which can really change the numbers. But we're still below EMA. So yeah. All right, guys. So we're pushing above the EMA. I'm probably gonna wrap it up four trades. Uh, I think that's you know my you know my emotions are starting to get the best of me. I'm I feel like I'm starting to take too many trades in a short period of time. But the market is really volatile, to be honest. You know this is you know normally this is one day's worth of price action, and it is just sixteen twenty one. So you know the volatility is crazy. But I already took four trades, and I I just want to get a little bit of breather. So I'm probably gonna wrap it up. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button if you did subscribe to the channel if you haven't and remember guys when it's strong 45 degree healthy downtrend like this just because you have a new low that doesn't mean we won't keep selling off so remember that take care everybody